everyone, Uncle Jess here. Today we're gonna to be combining four of my favorite things. One, resin 3D printing. Two, resin stacking. Three, articulating 3D prints. And four, action figures. That's right, we're gonna be creating some resin 3D printed articulating action figures by using resin stacking. And this is a perfect use case of why this works so well for this particular project. For today's project, we're gonna be working with files that were created by Teco Toys, which you can find over on TecoToys.com, who has an amazing Instagram as well that's showcasing a number of the digital files that they're creating for 3D printing all around this sci-fi articulating 3D printable action figures. And today we're gonna to be printing off a whole bunch of their Space Marines along with some of the accessories. And in the future, I'm planning on also printing some of the mech suits that the characters can actually fit inside. I'm also gonna be printing these over on the Elgu Mars 3 in some Elgu resin, but for this particular project, I wanted to make something a little bit unique to this. So I decided to take some of the standard Elgu gray resin and mix it with some purple alcohol ink to create my own purple shade of resin. Since we're gonna be 3D printing articulating action figures, I wanted to make sure that they have a little bit of durability and flexibility to the prints as well. So I decided to mix in a little bit of Sierra Tech Tenacious into the mix. I did a previous video on this as well. If you're interested in more information about that, you'll find a card up in the top corner here where you can see the previous video. So I took the files over into Chi2 box, which by the way, come pre-supported and I was able to fit about three of the Space Marines on the build plate surface along with a handful of the accessories and went off and printed it on the Elgu Mars 3. And it was about an hour and 20 minute resin 3D print. And as expected, the files look nice and clean coming off the Elgu Mars 3. I've already cleaned these. So let's carefully remove the supports from one of our space brains. I'm not saying who did it, but someone when they were slicing the files ended up merging a helmet and the hip body part together. So they've printed and fused together. Thankfully, I've printed more of these little figures. And here's a look at our 3D printed Space Marine. We have a helmet, the head, the upper torso, the lower torso. We have an upper arm, lower arm, the thigh, and then the lower legs here that you can all pop in by their joints and assemble them together. And after a quick two minute session under the UV lights, they are nice and crunchy. You also have other accessories like backpacks here that you can stick on the back of the Space Marine. And no Space Marines complete without its own set of blasters as well. So one of the questions you might be asking, is it easier to actually assemble the figures prior to curing or post curing? So I've gone off and done both examples so that we can test this out. The first one I did was post curing assembling the figure and it worked okay. They had some nice poppage there and everything was able to assemble with a little bit of force. Now here's the next Space Marine that I have fully assembled prior to curing under the UV light for two minutes. And I have to say that assembly process went so much smoother. It wasn't, uh, you still got some poppage there, some satisfying popping, but not nearly as much as the fully cured version. And none of the joints have fully fused together, which is great to see. This was definitely the easier way to assemble the figure. I didn't struggle with it as much and all the joints more or less just slid right into place. So the initial set of three space brains that I printed here took an hour and 20 minutes to 3D print, but Teco Toys has also created a variation of their files utilizing resin stacking. Now, I don't know if he's gonna be releasing those or not, but was kind enough to share those with me and they printed amazing over on the Elgu Mars 3. And speaking of, I want to say a big thank you to today's video sponsor, which is none other than Elgu, the maker of the Mars series of resin 3D printers that I love printing, the Elgu Saturn, which is their mid-size printer, along with the upcoming Elgu Jupiter, which is their large format resin 3D printer. Not only does Elgu have a great set of resin 3D printers, they also make fantastic FDM 3D printers with their Neptune series of machines. If you're interested in more information about any of the Elgu products that I've shown off in today's video, you'll find links to those down below. I want to say a big huge thank you to Elgu again for sponsoring today's video. These resin stacked versions of the Space Marines look so good and printed amazing on the Elgu Mars 3. 
So impressed with how well these printed with the minimal amount of supports that they're using. Again, I was able to fit more files on the build plate thanks to them printing vertically. That also meant that it took longer to print. So instead of one hour and 20 minutes, this was a two hour and 40 minute print. I was able to print four Space Marines along with two sets of accessories. And that was just slightly utilizing the full build plate. So I went off and decided to fully load up the build plate. And because resin 3D printers don't care about how much you're loading up the build plate, it just cares about how tall your prints are, how many layers you have to actually print. I was able to run off and print eight Space Marines along with four sets of accessories. And I might've been able to fit a few more on there. In a very short amount of time, I was able to create an army of Space Marines Marines that I can now clean up and start articulating. And I should also mention that Teco Toys, there are I think seven different Space Marines. So these are a variety of the different Marines that I went off and printed. So of course I couldn't just leave it at that. I needed to go and see how large I could actually print these over on the Elgu Mars 3. So I went and scaled them up by 200% and went off and printed them and they look incredible. And I probably should have looked into resupporting these myself, but I just decided to scale it up by 200% and let it rip and they look great. More than likely, I could have gotten away with slightly smaller supports in some areas, but overall these turned out great and it's gonna be really fun cleaning these up. So here's the 200% scale figure with the supports removed and fully assembled. This took five hours to 3D print two of them along with some additional accessories there. I do have to say it is a little loose in the joints. So I've got to figure out a way when it comes to 3D printing action figures, how to keep those tight where it's not so slippery. I'm sure there's some techniques out there uh, on ways that you can thicken that up, but I love how easy the helmets come on and off. There's articulation to this particular helmet that I printed. All of the weapons you can mount onto different points on the body, like on the sides of the legs or on the back pegs there, which is really cool. Also, this 200% scale is perfectly in alignment with your typical GI Joes that you might've played with as a kid. If you were a kid from the 80s, like I am here, uh, this is it just, heavily reminds me of playing with G.I. Joe's, especially it's a lot of the same articulation that you'd find in those as well. And the detail on these, even at scaled up at 200% is amazing to see how much he was able to pack in to these files for the prints. So if you're interested in printing your own set of articulating action figures, you can head on over to techotoys.com and find those files. They also, again, sell those mechs. They're mech suits that the actual figures will fit in into. I'm already planning on picking up one of those, scaling it up to 200% for this larger figure that I printed. And again, I just wanted to share this with you all because I thought it was another fantastic example of how resin stacking could be extremely useful for certain use cases like 3D printing action figures and multiple action figures and maximizing the build volume of your printer, especially if you're trying to mass print and produce these versus running off and printing a handful at a time. I also wanted to say a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters for your continued support. If you're interested in my resin 3D printing settings, you can find those over in my Patreon. But let me know down below what you thought about this resin stacking project and if you'd consider actually 3D printing some of these for yourself. This is just a much more viable way to run off and 3D print some things like the articulating action figures here versus let's say the over excessive dragon that I recently printed, which was another excessive example of resin stacking. This is something that you actually might even consider printing and utilizing your full build volume of your printer since you're able to print a whole bunch of figures in one go versus one or two at a time. Hey, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye now.